1860, a revolution. I didn't want to take a rotten approach. Aiming to end it on a positive note, I had about 40% of the popular vote. Hallelujah. I was elected on November 6th. I think it's funny how perfectly I remember this. Due to my relentlessness, I wanted to grant an order to stop the enslavement of Atlanta, Georgia. From here, I promoted equality and seven states started to secede so it bothered me because I know there's gotta be a way for us to climb a huge impact on February 9th with African Americans neglected for ages. I expected the basic death threats from the racists, the pressure of weightlifters, the fed up with hate, the president of the Confederate States is Jefferson Davis? What? I summoned a special session of 75,000 militiamen for protection. Now I just need a little more It's the beginning of a civil war So good. goodbye So long I never wanted to say this I have tried to hold on But the looks on all their faces say Goodbye America You have to go So sad to show A crash below July 27th, I replaced McDowell with George McClellan, 1862, war order number one. I call and all of our forces have begun to advance. This is our chance, another victory of Ulysses S. Grant. January 1st, Emancipation Proclamation is a statement granting slaves within the nation liberation. Amen. Further patterns, we both fall back in. Fortunately, we defeated Stonewall Jackson. Six months later, I travel with every word and Confederates lose at the Battle of Gettysburg. Atlanta's captured by Sherman's army. 1864, that alarms me. While I was re-elected, they still shoot. Then I got hit by John Wilkes Booth. Goodbye. Goodbye. So long. I never wanted to say this. I have tried to hold on. But the looks on all their faces say goodbye. A crash below. Almost a week later, John Wilkes Booth is shot and killed in a barn in Virginia. In May, remaining Confederate forces surrender and a victory parade is thrown. On December 6, 1865, the 13th Amendment to the United States Constitution is finally ratified as slavery is abolished. Thank you, President Lincoln. <laughs>